Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to rope. This your girl Keonti and I'm going to bring us a quick love reading. Again, this is going to be for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're cross-watching for a page, uh, Pisces, it could definitely resonate from your perspective. Feel free to flip the energies how they go, okay? Again, this reading is going to be directly intended about love. If it resonates for you, baby sharks, make sure you give me a like, comment, subscribe, and the share. And if you're interested in booking me for a private reading, feel free to reach out to me via the email. Um email address that I provide in the description box below. Alright baby sharks let's get into it. What's the current summary of your relationship as a whole right now? What's the current summary? What's the current summary of the relationship as a whole at this moment? The nine of wands. The wounded warrior. It's been one hell of a battle huh Pisces? Right? This is fire energy. You could be dealing with the fire side but the Nine of Wands is definitely uh, the Nine of Wands is definitely a wounded warrior here, right? It's been a battle, possibly a war between the two of you, right? But let's see. What is your my, our person's current view of the relationship? What is Pisces' partner' current view of the relationship? What's Pisces' person's current view? The Queen of Wands. Okay, so it, it appears like your person here, you could definitely be dealing with a fire sign here, but it feels like your person is ready to take action or get active on something here. Your person could be viewing you as the queen of wands here, Pisces. They could be looking at you like, Pisces is fire, right? Someone who's active, who gets a lot of attention, right? Your person could be seeing you as getting a lot of attention right now, Pisces, or your person is currently getting a lot of attention but this would be their view of of the relationship so i feel like they see you as someone who's getting a lot of attention right someone who's definitely active someone who's definitely determined right what is pisces view of the relationship spirit the devil oh pisces now why do you see this as the devil you could be dealing with the capricorn Pisces, I feel like you see you see this situation as very alluring, but could also be very toxic, right? The devil could be in, in uh, int intense obsession. It could be fear. It could be stress. It could be worries. It could be a lot of sexual tension between you, you and this person, Pisces. I feel like you could see this relationship as alluring and sensual, but also kind of dangerous and toxic here. Woo-wee. What does the obstacle Pisces and their person need to overcome? Spirit. What's the obstacle between Pisces and their person in this situation? What's the obstacle Pisces and their person needs to overcome? The Queen of Swords. Ooh. Now I have two queens here. Pisces, there could be a third party situation going on. There could be two queens involved in something here. Put it where it goes. But if that's not what's happening here, if the obstacle is not, is not about your person being attracted to you and it's been one hell of a battle, but they're in something toxic where you see the situation is toxic and the obstacle is you really not being for it with the Queen of Swords because the Queen of Swords makes head over heart decisions. You may not be for the bullshit, Pisces. That could be how you're seeing it. You could be making head over heart decisions. That That's why there could be an obstacle, right? There could be a battle and your person could definitely want to come forward and go at it again, but you're being analytical about it. And if that's the case, that's creating an obstacle. Now, if it's a bit messy and there's a third party situation, I know why the obstacle would be a Queen of Swords and there's been one hell of a battle here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see what the relationship will teach Pisces and their person about love. I'm going to clarify these energies. What's there to be learned? The Four of Pentacles. So, uh, temperance, patience, and divine timing. You could be dealing with a Sag, a Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. I feel like the lesson, there's something about patience and divine timing. Oh, and there's a king of cups under here as well. Just so you know, you could definitely be dealing with another water sign or a sag. I feel like there's a masculine energy tempering themselves here. If the two of swords is under here, there's a masculine energy tempering themselves here. What, you, what this relationship is going to teach the both of you about love, apparently, is about being stubborn, right? The four pentacles is about the miser, being stubborn, being, being stingy, right? Pisces, one of you could be deciding to hold back, right? 
the lesson that's going to be learned is Pisces. You could be feeling like you, the lesson that you learned here is to hold back, to not give to this, to not offer to this. Your person could be definitely learning a lesson in, on being stingy here, right? Or being selfish or being controlling, right? The Four of Pentacles is someone holding on or holding back. Could be a miser, someone who's very stubborn or stingy here, right? I'm going to clarify these energies for us, baby sharks. If the messages resonate, make sure you give me a like, comment, subscribe, and share. Again, if you guys are interested in booking me, don't hesitate to reach out to me via email. Let's clarify these energies, baby sharks. Let's see what's going on with this in particular. Why is the current summary of Pisces relationship as a whole, the Nine of Wands at this current moment? Why is it the Nine of Wands right now? There's been one hell of a battle, the Eight of Wands. I feel like there's communication coming in about the situation. You guys may be, may be deciding to talk about what you've been through, right? But the Eight of Wands is forward movement, right? So I do feel like something is moving forward here. There's going to be some communication here, Nine of Cups. I feel like with these two Nines here, that there has been one hell of a battle, but for some reason... There could be another go around or a try coming here, right? There could be communication in order to acknowledge what's been done to someone, right? Or what's been done to each other here. Nine of Cups, Seven of Cups, Ten of Swords. There's a lot of like um, fantasy and illusion involved with this Pisces. There's been one hell of a battle. And it could, it could definitely be about someone being smug or someone keeping up a lot of confusion or someone or, or having a battle because someone couldn't make up their mind here. Okay, why is the Queen of Wands here for how Pisces person currently views the relationship? Your person could definitely be very much attracted to you right now. They could be seeing you getting a lot of attention. They could be seeing you as someone that they want to put effort into. Or they're seeing you putting in some sort of effort and doing something for yourself here. They could be definitely ready to come towards you and take action. But I feel like they're seeing you in this Queen of Wands energy. Justice. You could be dealing with the Libra. Your person could be seeing, like, could be looking at you like, okay, Pisces is, is, is um working on things. Pisces is getting active. Pisces is doing something to bring Pisces justice here, right? You could definitely be dealing with a Libra, the sun, or a Leo here. Mm, two majors, though. I feel like your person could be finally realizing that they needed to do action to bring in some sort of justice and some sort of illumination and abundance here. The star, oh, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or anything. Oh, but the... Ooh, the Queen of Cups, Temperance, yeah. Your person, I'm telling you, it looks like here, your person is feeling like they want to come back here, right? They see, they definitely see you as very attractive, alluring, right? I definitely feel like they see you working on things and trying to change your karma. I feel like this person wants to come back to you with the sun and the star, because under here is the Queen of Cups and Temperance, which is already here. Patience and divine timing. I feel like your person thinks that this could work in divine timing. Why is the devil here? For how Pisces see the situation. Like I said, Pisces, you could find someone very alluring. You could definitely be dealing with a Capricorn. You could find this alluring and very intoxicating, but you can also see it as very toxic, okay? Why is the devil here for how Pisces see the situation here? The Five of Wands. See, Pisces, you're conflicted. I feel like you're conflicted about this because you can see this person is very alluring, very attractive, but this person could bring a lot of stress and worries, fears and obsessions, and a lot of drama to your life, right? With the five of wands, page of pentacles. Yeah, you can see this person is immature, right? Yep, the knight of wands. Yeah, I feel like you see you see someone is immature or flighty or someone is not putting in enough effort here. Hmm. Why is the queen of swords the obstacle here for Pisces and their person? Why is the queen of swords the obstacle here that you need to overcome? Again, your person could definitely have another situation going on, Pisces. And if you know, you know. Why is the Queen of Swords here? But I feel like you could definitely be looking at this very analytical. You could definitely have removed your heart out of the situation and you're using your head here. The sun. Definitely be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a Leo. But I feel like this is illumination. I feel like whoever this Queen of Swords is in this situation, she sees things clearly, right? This could be you, Pisces. Or someone is abundantly clear that something is over with someone that they're with, right? Oh, but either way, I got this right. You'll, let, you'll have to let me know in the comments. But there's the Ace of Swords, which is the truth. And I have the King of Swords here. There could definitely be another situation here that someone is abundantly clear that needs to end. A King and Queen of Swords here. Or your person wants to come back and they, they want to have a second chance with you, but they need to speak up and say speak some sort of truth here with the King of Swords. They could be definitely reluctant to do this, right? 
Why is the Four of Pentacles here for what you guys are both learning? Pisces, I feel like you're learning to hold back. I feel like you're learning to not give to a situation that you're that you're pulling back on it. But I also feel like your person could also be learning about being stubborn, right? Being selfish, being a miser. The Knight of Swords. There's some sort of swift action getting ready to come to this, right? Someone is learning. I, Pisces, either you are figuring out and you may actually be communicating that, hey, I'm going to stay to myself. I'm not going to indulge in this. Or someone is taking action because they've learned a lesson about being um, selfish and stubborn here. But here's a judgment, which is some ultimate decision coming in. Judgment can also be reunion and reconciliation here. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Page of Wands. There is someone that is planning, that is working and planning on something. And they're being strategic about it. They're not communicating this yet. But there will be communication about a new beginning coming in from this person, Pisces. Put it where it goes. I love you guys. If the messages resonate, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you're interested in booking me, email me. Bye, baby sharks.